This is my dedicated octopus tank. It's a 55 gallon bow front. It's been running for over 21 years now. I've been keeping octopuses in this tank for over 12 years now. When I say it's a dedicated octopus tank, I mean the only thing I'm keeping in it is cleanup crew and soft non-stinging corals. At the moment, we are not going to see the octopus because it's daytime and it's a nocturnal octopus. So this is going to be a tour of its home while it is taking a nap. So for starters, I'm running Kessel A360s uh, as my lighting. The only reason I'm running lights that strong are for the corals. Octopuses don't need anything more than a lot of live rock. So you really don't need lights that strong unless you wanna keep corals along with it. For filtration, I have a canister filter. People tell me all the time you can't keep octopuses with canister filters. That's just not true. However, this is a canister filter rated for a 100 gallon tank. And like I said, it's a 55 gallon. So I definitely recommend over filtration when you're going mechanical, if that's a possibility for you. And the other thing is I have to be dedicated about keeping that canister filter clean. Otherwise, it's really not doing anything. Inside the tank, there's a heater, obviously. Um, I keep, my power heads are current brand, um, E-Flux. They're really cool, they're programmable, programmable, and they come with um, these kind of spongy sleeves that you can put on the outside to help to keep stuff from getting in. However, when you have an octopus, stuff, their arm tips are going to get in. So you can see we took the extra precaution of covering these with fishnet stockings. Octopuses will lose their arm tips in power heads. They will grow back, but with the precautions, you, it doesn't have to happen. Uh, I also have a green killing machine UV sterilizer in my tank. Um, when you have a 20 year old tank, here again, you run into issues like cyano and green hair, and that's okay. So a while ago, the lid came off of, uh, the handle came off of the lid, and we purposely didn't put it, glue it back on because we wanted to have to keep ourselves mindful when we're opening the tank. Now you can see, um, I keep the water level pretty low compared to the lid of the tank for a couple of reasons. This allows for there to always be water movement. I either have the outflow from um, the canister filter or the green killing machine at the water surface so that I always have some surface movement. Then to keep everything in the tank, what we ended up doing is switching out this back glass panel for plexiglass or acrylic. Uh, we cut this, we left a little um, corner out of the back so that we can have the inflow and outflow pipes coming in. Then what we did was use wax. You can use wax earplugs, you can find dental wax just at your regular old pharmacy. You use the wax to make sure you're sealing any extra cracks or holes, and then duct tape over the entire thing. Nice and clean, and yes, I have to replace the duct tape every once in a while. So this is one and only one example of a way that you can keep an octopus tank. For lots more examples and way more information on keeping octopuses and cuttlefish in the home aquarium, tonmo.com is the place for it all.